put my arms beside him so he can't like move and I'm just like and then I go in for the kiss. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tag. These are some of my favorite videos to do. I just love answering random questions, whether they are beauty related or not. I just have a fun time regardless. And so I was tagged to do this one. So I thought, well, I don't want to disappoint, so I might as well do it, right? This time I got tagged by uh, Makeup by the Wind Twins. I feel confident that I said that right. I'm gonna hope I did. So there are two uh, very sweet, lovely girls, and I was kind of surprised that they tagged me. Just, I don't know, I, I'm surprised when anyone tags me. So I, I was happy to do it, and here I am doing it. Okay, so it is the My First Time tag, and yes, it is exactly what you are thinking. This ain't no R-rated video. Mm -mm. First tweet. So it was in 2010, which, yikes, that's, how has it been five years? Um, May 1st, and it is, when will season two of the Drew Carey Show come out? I want to watch it. Happy face. It's kind of funny because in those five years, season two has never come out. So I'm kind of still waiting. First YouTube video. It was my uh, quickest false lash effect little tutorial. I just looked like so like soft-spoken and a little shy, which I definitely was. I didn't think I was going to be shy, but then as soon as the camera came on, I'm like, okay, I'm a little shy. So yeah, it was a really cute little video. I'll link it somewhere here. First person you subscribe to on YouTube. I'm pretty sure the first person I subscribed to was Elle's Beauty. I love her. She is such a sweet girl. First Facebook profile pic. I'm pretty sure it was this really highly edited and colorful picture of me and my friend, whose name is also Carly, um, at like a pool party. Do you still talk to your first love? Um, not really. Like we're friends on Facebook and um, like if it's my birthday, he'll say happy birthday. If it's his birthday, I'll say happy birthday sometimes. But other than that, not really. What was your first alcoholic drink? I think it was vanilla vodka. I mixed it with Coke, cause you know, that sounds pretty awesome, vanilla and Coke, but it did not turn out so well. I think it was just because I poured too much vodka. Oops. Second drink that I made, I put in way less vodka and way more Coke, and that tasted a lot better. What was your first job? My first job was, I believe I was 15, and it was at Cinnabon, at the mall. And I worked there for not even two months. What was your first car? That was like a toy car from my McDonald's Happy Meal count. Who was the first person to text you today? It was my boyfriend. Just asking how my day was. Who was the first person you thought of this morning? It's gonna sound selfish if I say me. I think it kind of does. It was just because I had like a pain in my shoulder. So that's all I was focusing on. I'm like, ow, this really hurts. So I was kind of focusing on myself. Who was your first grade teacher? Uh, my first grade teacher was Miss Pacey. She had like little circular glasses, blunt bangs, hair straight about left to here, and she was actually really nice. She was like one of my favorite teachers uh, that I had in elementary school. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? <sighs> I've never been on one. Who is your first best friend and do you still talk? Uh, my first best friend was um, between grades one to three and it was just fantastic. I remember um, like going at her house and going on like the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen website and just obsessing over them. 
Where was your first sleepover? I'm pretty sure my first sleepover was at my grandma's house with like my sister and my brother. What was the first thing you did this morning? Check my emails, um, read some celebrity gossip, Facebook, um, play some of my games. And then I finally got up and like had a bowl of cookie crisp. What was the first concert you ever went to? I answered this before in another tag quite a while ago, but here we are again. And it was for the band Tool. First broken bone? My first and only broken bone um, is my collarbone. I broke it about two years ago and I can't really go into too much detail at the moment. I was reading online about broken collarbones and like normally you don't have to get surgery, it kind of heals on its own unless like the break is like really severe and sadly mine was. Um, I always kind of use this description. This is what your this is what your collarbone like normally looks like. That was mine. Yeah. But um, I got surgery. I healed up. Um, I'm okay now. <laughs> uh, I still get pains once in a while. But yeah, it's kind of weird because now I have like a metal plate and like screws going on. It's a little odd. Yeah, that's my first and only broken bone. It was not fun. <laughs> first piercing. It was when I was 12 years old, I believe. Maybe 11? I don't know. But I got my ears pierced at Claire's. First foreign country you've gone to. Haven't really traveled much. The only like foreign country to me would be America. <laughs> Specifically Florida and New York. First movie you remember seeing. I don't know, honestly, the first movie that I can remember would be Matilda. And that movie was amazing. It still is today. It's like one of my all time favorites. When was your first attention? All right, so my first attention was when I was in grade four. <laughs> uh, me and my two friends, we were outside during recess and we were just throwing snowballs at each other. But then we saw like a big garbage truck drive by and we're like, hey, a target, let's get him. As I know this sounds really stupid, but we started throwing snowballs at the truck. Not like at the driver's seat, like the windows or anything, just like the main part of the truck where they collect the garbage. So we were just like throwing it at them. And like, we were barely even hitting the truck. We were just like throwing it, but like it wouldn't actually hit it. So then the teacher saw us, they got very mad and were like yelling like, what are you doing? Get here now! So then we had to go inside and talk to the principal saying how dangerous that was and you should never do that again. And like they were so serious about it. Like we almost got suspended because of that. And I was, I was just sitting there like, what? It was just snowballs. Well, luckily we, none of us got suspended. We just had detention for like a week, I think. Who was your first roommate? was in college, I was living in residence, and you have roommates there. And so she was um, in my program as well. Her name's Elizabeth. And oh my gosh, those were like some of the best times of my life. I totally miss it. And she was like such a great roommate to have. If you had one wish, what would it be? It would be that I have a happy, loving, successful life. That's just one of my biggest fears is like the uncertainty of the future. What was the first sport you were involved in? First sport I was involved in would be when I was in grade one. I did um, ballet classes and that was only for the year though. I'm not gonna lie, my mom, she took out me and my sisters out of those classes because she didn't want to pay for the uniforms which I totally understand because those like costumes, uniforms, whatever, they get really expensive. And so to pay that three times, I don't blame her. So it only lasted a year and I didn't really like it anyways. So it was totally okay that I had to leave. What is the first thing you do when you get home? Honestly, the first thing I do when I get home is I take off my shoes, I wash my hands, I go in my room 
and I switched to pajama pants. Especially if I've been wearing like jeans all day or like shorts, dresses, whatever. I need comfy pants to relax in. So I do that almost every single day when I get home. <laughs> when was your first kiss? Yeah, it was in grade four. And I remember it was during recess and there was like a, there was like a crowd of like pretty much all the grade fours. And I don't even know how it got started, but a bunch of people were daring me to kiss this one guy. And I got tired of him. Like, I'm like, fine, I'll do it. So I, I like push him to the ground. He's like laying there, like totally shocked. Like, what is going on? Put my arms beside him so he can't like move. And I'm just like, <sighs> and then I go in for the kiss. And then I remember after recess, kids were um, writing on the chalkboard, Carly loves David, or stuff like that. And I was getting like so mad. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. Okay, so those are all the questions. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe, you know. If you want to do this tag, totally do it. I'm tagging you right now. And I will probably have a list down below of some people that I will tag as well. So just thank you again for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.